everyone, welcome back to my channel and another video. In today's video, I am going to be testing out Gusto, which is another meal subscription service. So if you aren't new to my channel and you've seen some of my stuff before, you'll know that I tried out HelloFresh for about five weeks. And overall, I was quite impressed. It was only when I'd been trying them out for a few weeks that I noticed that the expiry dates on some of the meat were actually not great. You couldn't freeze the stuff because a lot of the meat produce had already been previously frozen. Um, I don't think that's clear on the app when you're ordering that you can't freeze the meat. But yeah, today's video is gonna be me doing a direct comparison between that service and this service. So I haven't opened the box yet. I'm gonna unbox with you, let you see how it all comes packaged and everything. This box has been delivered with Yordle. I did like the deliveries with HelloFresh. I thought they were really good because they gave you an hour time slot of when they were gonna be delivering. This was similar, even though it's Yordle. Yodel can usually deliver anywhere between 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. I think. They do still give you a rough idea of when they are gonna deliver and you get a text notification. So I thought that was really good. One of the lovely girls I have on Instagram actually sent me a code so I got 50% off of this box. I will leave the price of how much I paid with 50% off down here because I can't quite remember now but I will check. It was really easy to filter on low calorie meals or like healthier options they actually had a whole um section dedicated to either lean in 15 meals or like a healthier option um page which i thought was really good okay so when you open the box this is how it looks so it looks as though you get all your recipe cards here on top all of your like green stuff like your veggies and everything is over on this side and i reckon all of the meat is in here and um, so let's see what we've got this really stood out to me because it was a 10 minute one and i love anything that's got prawns in it i love anything that's spicy so this just jumped straight out to me and it just looks so good the fact that it takes 10 minutes is perfect for like a midweek meal and which i think is brilliant but what's on the back of the cooking instructions let's have a look if they look easy looks pretty simple doesn't it Chop your tomatoes up, bang your spaghetti in the pan, cook your prawns, mix it all together, and boom, you've got that at the end. So that's the first one. So then next up we've got this um, cheesy cod spinach gratin with crispy, <laughs> crispy potatoes. Um, all your ingredients are there again. Looks pretty simple to make, but yeah, um, takes how, how long? 30 minutes to make that one. So yeah, that, I think that looks quite nice. Then got a chicken and mange to pad thai, which Thai food is my favourite. I'm sure I've mentioned that before on my channel, but I absolutely love Thai food. Um, this takes 35 minutes to make and it's got 549 calories in that one. I'm sure all of these recipes are under 600 calories per portion. One of the meals that I've got is just one that you shove in the oven. Looks really nice to me. Um, a bit lazy like, but it stops me ordering a takeaway on a night where I'm just too busy to cook. So yeah, this is how all of your ingredients come. What I will say is that with HelloFresh, it's a little bit more clear on what goes with what. Now I'm going to have to match up the recipe cards to the stuff that's in here now, which probably will only take me five minutes, but I do think that with HelloFresh, it was a little bit more easy to see. Everything's nice and cold. Let's have a look at the dates on the meat. The date today that I'm recording this video is the 19th of September and the date on the fish is the 22nd of September so that already not impressed. What about the prawns? 21st, 24th of September for the chicken. What the hell is in there? That's like a big massive lump of meat. What could that be for? I have no idea what that is. Does it say when it... Oh! <laughs> it's a lump of ice! Going off what some of the feedback was on Instagram when I was talking about HelloFresh's um, expiry dates not being very good. A lot of people were raving about Gusto saying that you could freeze their stuff and that um, the expiry date's are much better but uh, my, my first experience isn't that. So yeah, definitely how this food tastes is gonna determine whether I go back to HelloFresh or continue with Gusto.
Tuesday. Um, it's Tuesday evening. I've just been out on a long dog walk and I'm hoping that she'll be tired now and just want to sleep while I make tea. Um, so yeah, I've decided because Tom hasn't rang me yet, he's probably not on his way home. Um, I can afford to make one of the meals that take a little bit longer tonight. So I'm going to go for cod and spinach gratin with crispy potatoes because I think that looks really nice. Um, after a long dog walk, I, I just want something like comforting. So I think that that will be quite nice. It takes 30 minutes to make apparently. The ingredients are cod fillets, baby leaf spinach, soft cheese, potatoes, cheddar cheese, a vegetable stock cube and panko breadcrumbs. This is something that you could actually save the card for and make any time. But yeah, I'm just in the mood for this so I'm really looking forward to it. It has got 427 calories per portion in this and I'm going to get on with it now. done the whole thing wrong. I'm going to have to take the fish out and then put the stock on. Pour the stock all over the washed spinach and then put the fish on top. How annoying Connie. Your mum's stupid. Right I'm going to have to just and my stock cube hasn't even melted honestly. It's all going to the same place. It's all going down this hole. It's fine. It's but it just shows things go wrong sometimes. Even You can even have a recipe card in front of you with all the instructions step by step. Eight steps for something that takes 30 minutes to do and I'm messing it up, so. Hopefully it's idiot proof and I will show you that at the end. So, okay, this goes in for 15 to 20 minutes now, which is perfect timing because the potatoes have 20 minutes left. So that is what it's looking like. Just got 20 minutes to wait now so I'm going to feed the dog while I'm waiting and get rid of all this mess. later and yeah I've just had a bit of a shocker of a day if you can't tell by the way I look yet yeah, um 
but yeah it's just been a, it's just been a lot so i woke up this morning i had to be um in the center of manchester for an appointment at my cancer hospital um just for a checkup i was there longer than anticipated i thought i would be home by about 11 a.m um, but actually now i'm gonna have to be working most of the evening which means that the decision i made for this week's meals are perfect because I saw that they had a section of all convenience meals, so I picked up this moussaka, which is a Charlie Bigham's one. I just thought that it was one of those handy things to just have in when you've not had the best day, you don't want to cook. It's one of those things that's going to stop you from ordering a takeaway or at least make it a little bit easier not to. I just don't want the mess, I don't want the fuss. I just want to shove this in the oven, so that's what I'm going to do. This serves two people, it's got 425 calories in it so i will show you what it looks like when it comes out of the oven okay i've just pulled this out of the oven i think it looks really good it smells really good as well um it's been in for 35 minutes on 200 degrees so i was able to do my work whilst it was in the oven no mess no fuss so yeah i'm really looking forward to eating this now hey everybody another day later i cannot see what i'm looking at here i've not got my contact lenses in today i mean i could have gone upstairs and put a on put on a bit of makeup for this you know considering I'm on camera but I'd be lying if I said I tried during the week I'm at home all day long on my laptop working so this is what I look like when I finish work and I'm not going to pretend at home so yeah tonight's meal it's Thursday let's see what we're having we are having oh yes Chick chicken and mange to pad thai which looks like that looks very very nice um it's supposed to take 35 minutes so let's get cooking um i'm gonna get all my ingredients out and show you what we've got come on then come say hello you're going to the groomers on tuesday aren't you yeah watch your legs so i've been told on youtube how to hold her properly i'm supposed to scoop her under a bum uh, uh, i wonder they're all bothered about your welfare. They're not bothered about my ears being bitten off by you. Oh, get off. Uh, uh, uh. I've got all my ingredients laid out. I definitely think that these meal subscription boxes are really good for, especially Thai recipes, because you need a lot of bits of things. So like a little bit of corn flour, a little bit of garlic, a little bit of chilli, a little bit of tamarind. And I thought you might want me to um, shoulder soy sauce, shoulder soy sauce. chopped and now I'm just bashing these peanuts with you should use a rolling pin but I can't find mine so I'm using a roller cling film. This is quite therapeutic and I'm enjoying it way more than I probably should be. I do think it looks a bit pale gale in comparison to what it looks like on the picture. 
but I did cook it for the right amount of time and I'm sure it's going to taste really good. That is the chicken and mange to pad thai. Hi everybody, that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this has been informative in some way. If you're thinking of trying out Gusto or HelloFresh, then maybe watching these videos will help you decide which one to go for, or, or maybe it'll make you think, actually, do you know what? I'm gonna continue my Aldi food shop. But either way, thank you so much for watching this video, everybody. Again, if there's any other subscription services you want me to try out and review on here, let me know in the comments down below. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up for me if you enjoyed it, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.